You wanna see something cool? Don't forget to subscribe! Party's about to go crazy! With the pulsating power of a driving disco rhythm, comes the queen of the boogie feet! Hi, I'm Olivia Tarku, also known as Tokyo, depending on where you see me. Hey everyone, this is Overgot to Phoenix. <laughs> so let's get the show on the road! I'll be taking over for the time being. Anyways, welcome back to another episode of Why Men Is Nice. Previously, we spoke about Eric, Minako, Nicole, and Plutia. Now then, we're going to look at another character. Yunaka, Goldmary, Vale, Celine, and Lapis from Fire Emblem Engage, Eri Aizawa from My Hero Academia, and Serena from Pokemon the Series XYZ. All about the other girl! If you haven't seen the first two parts yet, I would recommend that you would do so. Now then, let's explain about me. At first, I am a sprightly young woman who talks with rather strange phrases, and I'm also skilled in impressions, and despite my bright, bright, cute, sweet, bubbly, and pretty ear mature personality in battle, I am serious and deadly with many of my combat lines being much more grim. However, this is most likely due to my past as a trained assassin, a life I wish to leave behind. So, I am conscientious in maintaining my positive personality in order to hide this past. Panicking whenever someone pries into it or I accidentally forget to put it on. And despite this, I do have a heart of gold and ultimately am more like my projected personality and I'm sometimes believing. And this is more insightful than any other ally that I am. Did you know that? I'm still talking. Here is what I like. Weapon facts, training, reading, music, poisons, and lurking in the dark. My dislikes are animals, fairy tales, parties, housework, strong odors, and people staring at me or being too inquisitive. And for some reason, my hobbies are keeping my privacy. And finally, my talents are impressions, weapon knowledge, and maintenance. Now you know! Gold Mary is a bold woman who tends to be vain about both her appearance and her culinary skill. Though her statements about these are made with a degree of superficial modesty. She can be both competitive in these regards, challenging those who compete with her in these fields. She cries sometimes when she is being too kind and tells everyone to enjoy her perfect tears. It seems Ash's Torkoal's not the only one with this personality. Celine is a graceful and innocent princess of Firene who carries a serene air. She is cordial and she enjoys drinking tea a field which she is knowledgeable of the various blends throughout El Yos. She is staunchly loyal to Virene, and she is not afraid to enter the battlefield to defend her homeland or make decisions that she herself considers ruthless in order to ensure its safety. And it's revealed in some of her supports that she drinks tea as a way to cope with tough situations. Vale is an innocent young girl who is on a personal quest to locate her long-lost sibling. She desires making friends and easily believes people who treat her kindly without a second thought. Citrine can appear to carry a haughty personality most associate with nobility. In multiple bond conversations with the emblems, she admits that her resting face often Im intimidates people. In reality, Citrine is a kind-hearted, generous noblewoman, especially to her treasured friends and allies. In part to her lineage directly to the royal family, Citrine has immense pride for Brodia and carries its values of protecting it at all costs, whether through political motioning or combat. As a result, she is close to the Brodian princes and, in part, to their blood ties. Citrine decided to become a retainer. Like her fellow retainer Lapis, she constantly has to remind Alchrist to let her perform her duty as his retainer. As the daughter of the Grand Duke, 
Citrina is extraordinarily wealthy and is generous in donating money to her friends and allies over the slightest need for it. Her generosity is often absurdly extravagant, casually purchasing and funding entire shops, offering entire mountains and plots of land to her allies, and even bluntly handing over sacks of gems without ever asking anything in return. She was about to expose Yunaka for being Larimar, but does a heal realization on her plans to help Brody and children. Lapis is a good-natured and kind person. Though she has low self-confidence, due to her humble background, she feels insecure of having a role when the other retainers of the Brodian royalty come from more well-off backgrounds, especially Citrine, who is directly related to the royal family. As a result, Lapis hides her background out of fear that she will be ostracized for it. Despite this, she adores her family and village and expresses open pride of special their specialty in potatoes and yams when she feels comfortable. Raised in a modest but poor family, Lapis is a natural survivalist, learning having to learn how to fend off bears and live off the land. Her hobbies include gathering objects which can be used, even weeds, for rations, should the worst happen. She is a natural craftsman, making quality goods out of mere scraps. She is the best rock, paper, scissors army player in the army. For Airy, thanks to the events of the UA School Festival, she finally smiled for the first time and expressed her joy at Class 1A's band performance. Following this event, Airy becomes more cheerful around those she is familiar with and slowly accustoms to her new life at UA. At first, Airy still felt negative about her quirk and was apologetic to her caregivers at UA, when believing that it was still causing them trouble. After Izuku encouraged her that Rewind could also be used for good, however, Eri develops a more positive outlook both in general and in regards to her power. This improvement is later shown when she is able to restore, restore Mirio's permeation, telling the latter not to be sorry, and that, that she has been training Rewind to bring his power back as a means of thanking him while tearing up in happiness. Due to her previous upbringing and isolation, Eri is still rather unfamiliar with many regular concepts and day-to-day -day things. This includes holidays, for example, as she mixes up Halloween, Setsubon, and Easter with Christmas. Serena is a kind and polite girl, but she can also be openly rebellious towards her mother, Grace. In the first episode, Kalos, where dreams and adventures begin, she refused to wake up when Grace ordered her to, giving a saucy response to her mother's call to watch the news. This relationship was best demonstrated when Grace made her practice rye horn riding, an activity Serena had always hated doing. However, their relationship is also very loving, shown in later episodes. As shown to have a strong will, Serena can be sensitive and insecure at times as seen in battling with elegance and a big smile. When she was frustrated with her Pokemon, she lashes out at her limit and leaves to cool off its shame. She is also shown to lose her composure when pushed to a wall, becoming unsure of herself. Despite this, however, Serena manages to pick herself back up by reminding herself not to give up bringing up her confidence and encouraging her Pokémon to do their best despite the odds. This is shown when two of her Pokémon, which are Fennekin and Eevee, evolving from responding to her resolve. While battling isn't her primary focus, Serena has shown herself to be a competent battler, at least partially due to picking up Ash's battling style after seeing him battle countless times. Serena was uncertain what paths or career to pursue in life and expressed little ambition towards becoming a full-time Pokemon trainer in the early stages of her journey. However, in Summer of Discovery, she began to think that not having an established goal was a problem for her future as a trainer. During her time in the Pokemon Summer Camp, she began seriously considering what she wanted herself to do in her Pokemon after seeing how passionate the trainers around her were. It was in performing a dreaming a performer's dream that she decided that her goal was to become a Pokemon performer at the end that she has been diligently training both herself and her Pokemon ever since. After losing her first Pokemon showcase in Kumarine City, Serena strengthened her resolve to do even better, and to symbolize this she has cut her hair short. Unlike with Dawn, Serena chose not to follow in her mother's footsteps as a Rhyhorn racer. However, she is shown to be a competent Rhyhorn racer and is quite knowledgeable about them. She possesses a unique charm when it comes to Rhyhorn, possibly due to her upbringing, as nearly all of those that she encounters gravitate towards her playfully as seen in giving chase at the Rhyhorn race and masterclass choices. Due to her mother's training, she is able to easily tame Rhyhorn and manage them well. Additionally, because of those skills, 
she is also able to calmly guide a mammoth swine through a steep hill and over the mountain of snow. Serena has been shown to have a phobia of the supernatural. When the group entered an abandoned house where a wild esper was staying and seeking shelter from the storm, she would assume the worst or that a supernatural being was in play whenever the group was spooked by something. Likewise, in forging for his friendships, when Ash had been kidnapped by a Trevenant, she became worried that Ash would be eaten after Clement told her the rumors surrounding the forest. This was seen once again in scary hospitality. In such occasions, she often speaks without thinking, continually making assumptions that the scary houses that Ash or Clement had to cringe over, and she would promptly cover her mouth when she realized what she had said. She has also been shown to be a of crossing unstable bridges across high ravines. Serena seems to have a sisterly bond with Bonnie, as she is shown caring for her to the sim similar to the way Clement does, such as protecting her in dangerous situations, comforting her, and cheering her up when she is sad. She also allows her to help her with various tasks, such as baking and grooming. And Serena also gets along pretty well with Clement, and they are normally seen taking care of the table together during mealtimes with Clement making the main dishes while Serena provides dessert. However, when it comes to his inventions, Serena is shown both a bit marvel as well as caution, due to the usual result being an explosion. Serena quickly became very good friends with Chloe after meeting her and appears to empathize with her after hearing her uncertainness on what goal to pursue in life. Serena has shown a deep and loving affection for Ash, having remembered how he found her when she was lost and alone in a forest when she was a little girl and how he kindly guided her out. After several years, she still recognized him after seeing him on television. After picking her starter Pokemon and starting her journey, her first order of business was to meet up with him to return the handkerchief he once used to bandage her leg at the Pokemon Summer Camp all those years ago. Ash proved to be a source of inspiration for her with his never-give-up attitude and love for Pokemon, to the point that she still recites the motivational phrases he taught her to motivate herself and the others. Serena has a love for fashion and clothing. An early example of this is in A Battle of Aerial Mobility, where she spent time carefully selecting an outfit and was troubled over which of two hats looked best. Serena then asked her mother, who selected a beret. However, she promptly tossed the beret aside and picked up the other hat, saying that whatever her mother did not choose was certain to be the cuter one. She also has expressed excitement about visiting the clothing boutiques in Lumio City. In a poke vision of things to come, she was eager to dress up in many different outfits while making her Pokevision video. Despite her love for fashion and performances, she rarely displays vanity over confidence, and she usually acts somewhat subdued and humble in both of these areas, though she is not above commenting that she thinks something she has done is cute, usually when dressing up her Pokemon for a showcase. Serena has displayed some skill in tailoring, slightly after altering her Rhyhorn racing gear and giving chase to the Rhyhorn race, as well as being able to modify the 3D Sode she wore in her second showcase on the fly and performing the Fiery Charm when it was accidentally torn before her free performance. Serena also likes baking and is quite skilled at it. An example of this was demonstrated in giving chase of the Rhyhorn race, where she stayed up late at night to bake cookies for Ash and the gang, which she seemed to enjoy. Also, in Mega Mega Meowth Madness, she had baked some macarons for the group, but they were stolen by a chestpin. In a battle by any other name, she also participated in a Poke Puff baking competition. In Origins of Mega Evolution, Serena showed that she knows how to dance when she attempted to help Ash with his training. This skill would later come in handy as she decided to become a performer. Having did choreo uh, choreograph the moves both of our Pokemon and herself when training for showcases, Serena's catchphrases, ta-da! when she usually says whenever she is presenting something. And there you have it! Now you know that Wine Yunaka is a nice girl along with the others and remember what Chibi Usa had said. She's prettier, more mature, <gasps> sexier, and smarter. Actually, Yunaka and the other girls that we mentioned sometimes have the same personality. Well, that's all for now, but we'll keep doing our best! You got it, sir! <laughs> I want to say 
as myself, to everyone out there who's watching this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Gabe and Natalie's YouTube channel. Uh, they're awesome, so check it out. That's so cool. Thank <laughs> you.